Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a go at modelling a pair of sunglasses in Maya. So the first part we'll model it, second part we'll unwrap it, third part we'll jump into Substance Painter and have a go at texturing as well. So the first thing we want to do is get our reference image in, so I'm going to hold down space on my keyboard, click and go to front view, and then go to view, image plane, and import image. So then I have got somewhere my reference images. There we go. And I'm just going to press R and just make that a bit bigger. And then I'm going to go and go to left view and same thing, view. I'm going to go to image plane, import image, and go for side view. Okay, and my image plane has come all the way there, so I'm just going to drag it back over here. And I'm going to hit R to scale and just bring it up so it's the same size like that. Then all I'm going to do is press W and move it back and move it back. But let's rotate this one so it's an E to rotate. Hold down J to snap, like that. So we're set up now with our reference images. So what I'm going to do is jump into the front view. So I'm going to start doing the front part first. And I'm going to grab a cube. So we can either go to the shelf here, go to create polygon primitive and cube, or hold on space, go to create polygon primitive and go to cube. So we've got our cube there. And what I'm going to do is just W to move and bring it up into place. And because we need to see our reference image, I'm going to go to shading and just turn X-ray on. So what we're going to do is we're going to model half of it and then mirror it across. So I'm just going to R to scale, bring it down a little bit like that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to right click, go to face and just grab this face, go back to front view. And what I'm going to do, now I've got W for move, I'm going to hold down shift and click to move, and it will let me smart extrude and bring out more shapes. Now at the minute I'm just trying to get a rough idea of outline, so I'm not worried that it's not meeting anything yet. I'm just trying to create some extra geometry for modeling. So I'm going to do that side there. I'm going to come out of perspective and grab that face and do the same thing. Go back to front, make sure I've got W and then Hold down shift to move and just bring it around. We will need to move these around a little bit. So I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and move these a little bit. There we go. Right click, go back to face. Continue to extrude that round. Keep going until we get to about there. Okay, so what I'm then going to do is just quickly get myself x ray, come into perspective, and I want to join this part to this part here. So I'm just going to grab this face, control and delete like that. Then what we're going to do is go back to front view and just match this up to begin with. So go back to shading and x-ray. This time I'm going to right click go to vertex mode. And now what I can do with move tool is I can start to move these into position to match up with the reference a little bit more. I'm making sure you do box selection so that you are selecting the front and the back vertice, uh, vertices because sometimes we just grab this and move that. So I just grab one and move it. You see, it's not grab both of them. So I'm gonna just undo that. Box select and drag. Let's 
working your way around slowly getting it to match up don't worry if there's like extreme curves there's a few other things we're going to have to try and add in some more edge loops and that sort of thing which we'll do as well but at the minute we just try to match it up as best as we can there's places like here what we will have to do is add in some more edge loops to make it match up a bit better so if i drag that in there for example you can see we can't make that meet there but what we'll do is we'll add in some more edges and that'll we have to meet it a bit better again just rinse and repeat dragging around making it meet as best as we can do again we'll probably have to add a few more edges in here we'll see goes like quite harsh curves that's normally where you have to start adding in some extra edges or something to work with okay nearly there okay so here now what we're going to do is we want to get these vertices matched up to there so what we're going to do is come out of perspective and now i'm just going to show you what we've done so far so i've turned off x-ray it's starting to look like a part of some glasses so what we're going to do now is we go to mesh tools and go to target weld pipe over here and drag it it will move that vertices over oh i've done one does that mean to i want to do that one to there drag it up like that so we've got that meeting up i'm going to jump back into front view so we need to go to vertices again let's go to x-ray and we can just drag these to make it meet a bit better like that and then here we're going to go to modeling tools get our multi-cut hold down control i can move up and down where i want it to i'm going to click a couple of times just to add in a few more vertices w to move and then select and then i can use these to make it meet that curve a bit better like that and just do that in a few places where you haven't quite managed to meet the curve with the original edges If you want when you're doing an edge loop by the way hold on control if you want to go directly in the middle middle mouse button click will do that for you as well so let's bring these down back into place So probably a few in here as well. I'm definitely to have a couple in here, I feel. Bring these in. Maybe even another one in here. Okay, so let's turn shading off for a second. Come into perspective, and you can see if I go to object mode, we've got what it looks like one side of a pair of glasses. So what we're we going to do before, because we are going to mirror this across, 
um, because I'm going to need to model one half of it. What we'll do is make the actual area where the arm of the glass glasses will connect. So we're going to do that on this side here. So we need to create a little bit of extra uh, geometry. So I'm going to go to multi cut. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click there. So what we're going to do is grab these faces here. I'm going to control E. I'm going to just bring in and then I'm going to delete. So the whole point of doing that was just so I can start to get these edges in because I'm going to bring those edges together. So I'm going to right click, go to edge. And here, got W, the move. I'm going to hold down shift and drag so it's extruded it out and get it relatively close. Same thing here. And then I'm going to do the same thing here as well. So then what we're going to do is go back to that target weld, so mesh tools and target weld. Right click, go to vertices. And what we're going to do is drag these so they meet up. And all this is trying to do is just to create an opening that we can then straighten out. So at the minute you'll see it's really not flat, but we can sort that out. But we create those, that extra geometry. Some of it now we don't need. So for example, the way to think about it is if you look at an edge, where else does it go? So that edge travels all the way around there. So we need that. Realistically, these edges around here we don't need. So I'm going to click on it and delete. Like that. You see it's starting to straighten up a little bit now. So the last thing we need to do is just make sure these surfaces are straight. So I'm going to right click, go to face, select those, go to R to scale. And if I grab this and just drag it to the right, you see that's straightened out now. I'm going to do the same to this one. Just drag that to straighten it. And then the same here drag it down to make it flat. So what I've then got is that little divot perfect for where the arm's going to be. So what last thing we'll do is mirror across and then what we'll do is start to um, add some fillets and that sort of thing. So all we need to do to mirror it, it's super, super easy. I'm going to select it, I'm going to right click, shift, uh, right click, go to mirror. At the minute it's gone in the wrong way. Axis position here, I'm going to change this to world. So it's going to crop right across there. Everything else is fine for what we need right now. So we've got two halves of our glasses. I'm going to go to mesh and combine. And you see we've got this little gap, so we need to get that to join. So we're going to vertex. And then what we're going to do is let's select those and go to edit mesh and merge to center. And same again. Merge to center, just working your way around, making sure you don't select the wrong or additional ones by mistake because sometimes that does happen. So you've got to be careful a little bit. Okay, so one thing I realized that we should have done, I'm just going to undo for a second before I did that mirror. There we go. What I should have done really, go to face and just delete those faces. There we go. So now we're gonna do the same thing again, go to object, right, uh, shift, right click, go to mirror. We don't want it in the X. Oh no, we want it in the X, we want it in the world, which is there. Now go to mesh and combine, go to vertex. And now we can do the same thing. So I'm gonna select those, edit mesh, merge to center. working your way around nice and easy oh. There we go. And um, what we're going to do, we don't want that one. 
is just go to object, select it and just hit three just to check. You don't want you want to just check there's no gaps, which there isn't. So what we need to do before we can smooth that, obviously, is we need to add some uh, edge loops, some fillets to it. Um, so what we're going to do is go to edge, let's grab, sorry, bevels, sorry, not fillets, that's different software. Just double click and grab all these edges. We'll then do the inside as well. Come around the back. And then come across here and let's do that and then come around do the same on this side. And then we're gonna go control B for bevel. I'm going to do two segments. Oh, and I realise that I have missed one edge. There we go. Let's go control B now. Let's do two segments. If I hit three. So you can see we've now got nice smooth shape. We've now got our join. Where our glasses are going to go. If you want to increase or decrease your bevel, you can go to attribute ever editor. Got the bevel there, so what I might wish to do is make that tighter, which will make it a little bit more sharp, but I might want to make it a little bit more rounded. So it's down to personal preference. Okay, so that is the main shape of our glasses. I'm going to just come to the top view, hit R for scale and just bring it in because we don't need it to be that thick. Something about there looks about right. Then what we need to do, glasses, if you wear glasses or you've seen, oh, I'm sure we've all seen glasses obviously, um, they're not actually completely straight so we need to have a little bend in them. So if you select that, if you go up to deform, non-linear and bend, this tool here that's now appeared will let you bend it but at the minute if I do this you see it's bending in a kind of freaky way so we need to rotate this round so I'm going to go on E for rotate hold down J just rotate that round hopefully that's the right way around not quite so what we're going to do is rotate it this way first There we go. So what we're going to do, come to top view. Now we don't need that extreme of a bend. Something like that. Okay. So we've now got our glasses like face done. We will now have a go at doing the arms, which are quite simple. So what we'll do, let's just hide this one for now. We don't need it. Let's go to right view. Let's take this and just move this into position. Obviously ours is slightly different, which is fine. We're gonna do the same thing as we're gonna create a cube. W to move. R to scale. Bring it down a bit. Cause ours is gonna sit around here. And then we're gonna roughly bring it around. So let's follow this. What we'll do is, like we did before, let's grab this face, go back to the right view, exactly the same. I'm going to go to W for move, hold down shift, and start to drag to extrude out this shape. Now we don't need loads here because it's not a massively complex shape. So obviously around here we're going to have to do some loop cuts or we'll come about there. So let's go to right click, go to vertex, go to shading and x ray. Let's bring these into position. Working quite nicely. Let's 
dragging it around. So we yeah, definitely have to have some edge loops in there. Okay, so now let's, like before, let's go to multi cut and let's have a look. So, we definitely think we have to have a couple in here. Bring that up a little bit just to make it a little bit less harsh, a bit more flowy. Definitely need to have a couple in here, I feel. And for that, all I was doing was middle mouse clicking just to make them go in the center. And then we will do on the middle here so we can bring that out like that. Okay, so let's turn shading off. Let's bring that into position. So let's go to top view. Let's go to object. Do R for scale first of all. We definitely don't need to be that big. W, bring that into position. E to rotate, just to bring that round a bit. So it's go like in the middle, so it's got space to pivot round. W to bring it up a bit. R to scale so we can squash it down a bit. Like that. And if I hit three on the keyboard, it will smooth shade, but we don't quite want that just yet. What we need to do is go to edges and add some bevels. second. So yeah, let's do edges, don't click, don't click. Those are the easy ones to do. Okay, control B. Let's see how it's looking. Let's unhide our main classes. And you get an idea. Let's go back to right view. Right, so realistically, I think probably need to bring, well, definitely this needs to be a two, like that. Actually, probably not that. Maybe I'll make it a little bit wider. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so that is the arm of our glasses done. Um, we will mirror that across. Let's just do like a little pin, little screw that's going to go in there as well. Just move that bit better into position. So let's go and just grab a cylinder. Let's go to top view, bring it up here. Bring it up, let's do hard scale. Thank <laughs> you. 
Press that in there just so we've got a pin that looks like it's going all the way through. Grab this vertex and just drag it down so it turn that off. You just see it's coming all the way down. Yeah, so you can see that pin going both sides. And then what I'll do, get to this edge, double click, add a bevel to and just make the fraction tighter like that. So then what we'll do is let's grab this and this. Let's mirror it, so shift, right click, go, oh, no, wrong thing. Shift, right click, go to mirror. Hang on, there we go. Let's grab those two, shift, right click, go to mirror. We want it to be done in the world. We've got that, and for some reason I did not do this one, so let's do the same thing there, mirror. Change that to world. And there, so quite easily we've got our two arms of our glasses. So last thing to do is our um, frame, our, um, our lenses, sorry. So I'm gonna come to front view. Let's grab a cube, W and move it over here. And what I'm gonna do is go to X-ray again. And then Grab these vertices, sort of grab it and put it a rough sort of area of where we want to go. And then I'm going to have to add in quite a few edge loops. So I'm just going to click like that, and then we're just going to drag and see how we get on. See if we need any more. Working our way around, we might need a few more. Yeah, probably need some more up here. So we're just gonna have it sitting within the frame. It doesn't actually matter if it overlaps much. Okay, so let's add in here. That might do it actually. Let's go to W. Okay, so if you add, add an object, let's go to perspective. We're going to turn extra for a second. Obviously, we need to bring this in thickness wise. Then, what we need to do is let's go to the top so we can see what we're doing. Let's add another deform so it's matching the sort of shape of that face. Let's go to deform. Let's go to non-linear, go to bend, select like that. Probably just select that first, then go to non-linear and bend. There we go. Attribute avatar. So what we need to do, each rotate, J to bring down. Let's have a look. There we go. So let's go to the top view and just try and match up bend as guess as we can do. I'm going to grab the lenses, go E to rotate. I'm going to drag it in a bit. So it might goes in like that. I select it, press three to make it smooth. And then let's go to the front. Just look at making that match up now that it's smooth shaded. I'm just going to make it overlap, it doesn't matter that it overlaps, don't worry about that for a model like this, it's nothing massively complex as long as it doesn't like come out the other side we're okay there's an object so there we have got 
our glasses frame or glasses lens sorry what I probably want to do is make it like concave a little bit so what I'm going to do is go to vertex select that one in the middle hit B to do soft select let's drag it up a little bit just so it sort of flares out a little bit like that okay so all we have to do now is let's mirror that across so select it shift right click go to mirror I'm going to change that to world hit three because it will undo the smooth shading so quite easily got all of our parts there all I'm going to do now is give that a save so let's save that let's call that So what we need to do is select all of it. Let's just go on free transformations and delete history. So that then gets rid of um, those bend handles and that sort of thing. So we've got our glasses. So that's the end of part one. What we'll do in the second part is we will um, unwrap it. And then in the next part, we'll have a go at uh, texturing it in Source and Painter. Hopefully you found that useful and interesting. Any questions, just leave a comment down below or email me at designwithsimon@outlook.com. at outlook.com.